بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Many of you are aware of the shocking and disgusting assault on my home, my family. These masked thugs barged into my home. No sense of dignity for a person's family. Frightening to death my wife, my daughters, my six-year-old, my nine-year-old, who was so traumatized my daughters could not sleep the entire night. My six-year-old was having nightmares. Do you not have mothers, sisters, wives, daughters? Is this what Islam teaches you? Are you proud of what you've done? Is this the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? People spreading lies about me. I have always stood for Palestine. I've always been pro-Palestine. My posts go back to 2014 condemning the Israeli terrorist state. I love Palestine. I have always spoken for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. I am with Palestine. Why are people spreading lies about me, saying I'm not with Palestine, cutting and pasting my videos just to support an agenda? Yes, I have said that in this situation, nobody is helping them. Nobody. There's no country, no Muslim country is helping them. There are nothing. No, everybody is standing and watching a genocide. And Israel just does not care. It's too powerful. I have said in this situation, if they cannot be a separate country, if people, if Israel won't let them, at least let them leave with their lives, with their children. At least let them do hijra, as Islam teaches us. This is what I've said. How is that wrong in Islam? Did the Prophet wasallam not leave Mecca? It would save their lives. It would save, are their lives not more valuable than the lives of their children? This would be a genocide. It's not a war. People cutting and pasting what I'm saying. Saying uh, I'm speaking against Masjid Al-Aqsa. I've never spoken against any masjid. That the, the Quran says, Anna al-masajida lillah. The mosques belong to Allah. I've never spoken against a masjid. Using people should be ashamed of themselves using the Palestinian crisis just to push an agenda of hate against me. Yes, I admit I used a word exile. I put my hands up. It's absolutely wrong to use that word. Kullu bani adam khatta. My Monday nights I talk for two, three hours. People, they make mistakes. It was a slip of the tongue. In all my other clips, I've said migration. I've said hijra. Tika, in one, I said exile. It was a mistake. It happens. Is this, is this how people, you barge into my home? You scare the life out of my six-year-old daughter? Wallah, he's seeing those tears in her eyes. Have no fear of Allah. This is such a disservice to Palestine. Is this not what the Israeli uh, Israeli army does? It barges into the Palestinian Muslim homes, terrorizes their children, their wives. Is this not what they? How is that different? How is that different? People saying I'm not a Muslim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. 
Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I've been a Muslim all my life. I testify, I've always testified that there is Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I believe in the Quran. I've memorized the Quran. The whole Quran, I've memorized it. I've memorized so many hadith of the Prophet by heart. People saying, oh, he, he's, he's a kafir. You should be ashamed of yourself. Allah is a witness that I have stood, defended Islam, defended the honor of the Prophet. How many people have stood and defended the honor of the Prophet ﷺ when people accused him of rape, when they accused him of child marriages? I'm one of the only people that stood and defended the honor of the Prophet ﷺ. People saying, I'm not a Muslim. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi Allah, Allah can judge me. Who on earth are you? Who are you to judge me? I have spent 10 to 15 years of my life studying Islam. So many people have come back to Islam because of the explanations that I've given. And you're telling me that I am not a Muslim. I don't need to explain myself to you. Allah can judge me. You traumatize my daughters because you think you try to judge me. You think that you are God. TK, you know, if a person makes a mistake in a word, you know, in one video, I used the word exile. It was wrong. Is, is that how you, you traumatize my six-year-old daughter? You take this out of context that, oh, uh, he's speaking against Gaza. I've, I love the Palestinian people. I have spoken that, is it not, has the Prophet not taught us that the life and the blood of one Muslim is much more valuable than the Kaaba? Hundreds of Muslims, hundreds of Palestinians are dying. Is it not? I have argued that at least give them safe passage, let them leave. So you twist my words out of hatred. You should be ashamed of yourself. Saying I support Israel. Israel is a terrorist state. I've always said Israel is a terrorist state. I've condemned Israel countlessly. It is a terrorist state. Yet, you're trying to say, oh, I'm supporting Israel, I'm against Palestine. How can I be against any, every Muslim, every, is not this, um, every Muslim on earth, it, most human beings stand shoulder to shoulder with the, with the Palestinian cause. It is one of the greatest crises of today, but there's no solution. So this barging in, Are you proud of yourself? Is this the example that you give? This is what Muslims, this is how Muslims behave. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Wallahi, only Allah can judge me. And he will judge each and every one of you. Wallahi, I swear by Allah, he will take you to task.